Thank you everybody to be here to the presentation of Seblad 2 for Joomla 1.6. So uh, let me introduce um, the lead developer of the extension, Sébastien Lapou. One of the uh, members of our team, uh, Sébastien Colomb, which is our web services specialist, and me, Alexandre Boussin, associate director of uh, Seblad, the editor of the extension. So. Since two years, the extension is uh, for yeah. <laughs> Since two years, yeah, the the extension now for a, a little synopsis for the key fe figures. It's uh, eighty thousand downloads now. It's uh, thirty twenty three thousand registered forum users. Our forum is really important for us because it's a, a little complex extension, so the community is really important in, uh, in our extension. It's translated into 17 languages. We have uh, over 1,500 visits per day and over 20,000 forum messages. All these messages uh, concern the, the support and uh, the community, like, uh, as I said, is really important because in 17 languages, it's really important to, uh, to have people who can help the, their, their community in their language, what is uh, difficult for us to do. And so our main communities are uh, France, where we come from, USA, Russia, Germany, and Brazil. So what is the blood? It's uh, compared to a CCK. I think everybody know what a CCK is here and use it in a complex project. And so <coughs> what we try to do is to have one tool for many things to create forms, to customize your article templates, to list and filter your content, and so to develop your customized search engine, what are features needed for complex projects. So by customizing your article templates, we mean uh, you'll be able to, to create content types uh, allowing you to, to realize real estate listings, business directories, product catalogs, classified ads, uh, news, portfolios, all things which are needed uh, to, to, to customize your, your article. But article is not the only thing Seblot have the possibility to, to, to customize. We, we offer you the, the possibility to personalize your content too such as Joomla art categories, Joomla users, Joomla user groups, and so other extensions like Ikashop, Virtumart, or Foca Gallery. And so you just have a little example to, uh, to illustrate what we have uh, the possibility to do. By the, the upside is uh, the form, and here the front, it's a classical Joomla user which is modified with uh, a photo and uh, all this information. But this is the basic Joomla user customized with Theblood. Here you have another example of a closing store product. So it's a Joomla article managed by Theblood to have so many criteria to define a product. This product is, uh, comes from a, a, a big project uh, for, for Switcher, closing, uh, a closing store. It was uh, a project managed uh, with, uh, with Sébastien Colomb, and you will have a, a case study about that uh, at the end of the, of the session, and with uh, many interesting things uh, like uh, SAP, SAP Bridge and other things. Sébastien will... Uh, We'll explain it. Here is another little example of a portfolio. 
something uh, a lot of lot of site need and so you can have uh, an article with um, with um, customized uh, fields allowing you to present basics uh, portfolio articles so the two concepts we try to improve in this new versions are simplicity and flexibility so to explain the simplicity, Sebastian will show you the interface, and uh, after that, we'll have the demonstration. Okay, <coughs> hello everybody. Um, thanks to be here, and at first, sorry for my English. Uh, I am French, you know that. Okay, so uh, so before uh, to speak uh, uh, about uh, theory uh, and so, I will show you a short demonstration. Um, of course, on C blood true. Um, just. Okay, so at first, it's uh, a very important point in Sebot 2. Uh, it uses all Joomla native interface. So you are always in Article Manager and you stay here. You need only that. You know how to create a classical Joomla article. You know this interface. Okay. And now I will show you the same article, uh, like in Joomla, but managed with Cblood. So you have two, two ways to select your content type, here and here. We will uh, choose uh, after uh, a few weeks which we, uh, we keep. OK, I select article. And now I am not on the Joomla article interface, but we say blood. You have all fields, and I will just show you to insert very quickly a new uh, custom field in this form, and to show you the form and then the display of the content. Okay. We go on Sablon 2. The main concept in Sablon is content types. Now uh, many CCK uh, keep the same uh, term and uh, the origin is in Drupal world. Okay. You see here the content type article, which I, sh I show you uh, before. I click on, and we arrive in the new interface in Cblood 2. So sorry, because all is very, uh, not many large, because uh, due, due uh, to the screen. OK. You have here, for button, we call it client. A client is, for example, admin form. So uh, your fields. To, uh, to, uh, to define a form in the backend. Seed form, because you can have, uh, if you want, the same field in front or in backend, or a little different. It's uh, uh, very often you need some different field on the front and, and on the admin. Some special uh, custom field for administrator only, for example. Okay. Here, I will show you then, if we have uh, uh, some time, how to use this uh, new interface. I click to add a field. OK. A title, the name is uh, automatically, but you can change it if you want. 
And here, you have a list of plugin type. Um, this, like uh, I will say uh, after, is plugin. Uh, in the uh, version on Joomla.5, uh, it was not plugin. It was in the core, and uh, it was not very good to uh, to uh, to add some uh, some new tip. So today, uh, it's plugin, and uh, like uh, in the in the last version, uh, a very strong point uh, for Cblood is the number uh, of this plugin, and for the new version. Uh, <laughs> there is a lot for the last version, but now it's uh, a new world. Uh, there is maybe 100 uh, plugin field tip uh, with many nice features. And like you can see here, Joomla library GForm, you know on .6 uh, there is a begin to manage uh, custom field uh, on Joomla, but uh, this plugin are, 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 are too light. Uh, um, we need a lot of other events in this plugin, so we create our plugin system. But of course, like uh, we do uh, all the time, we try we try to be compatible uh, with all GForm plugin field too. So here. Uh, you see all the field, uh, all GForm field uh, on Joomla.6, and it's work very good too uh, on Cblood, of course. And if uh, the core team add a field, you will see here. Okay. For example, there is some nice uh, new uh, field uh, on .6 uh, to select a user. You have a button, you, you click on the select, and you have the list of the user, you select your user, and then. Okay. Just an easy field, like a radio. I can put here a default label. Okay, my option. Okay, you can add. And you can drag and drop. Okay. Like in in the next version, you are able to organize all your work in folder. So um, you can classify uh, your content type, your template, your field in some folder. It's useful to uh, to get it after. Okay. I save it. Just to know. And it's, uh, it's just a uh, temp. You must refresh the page to see your new field on the right side. Here. <coughs> so I, uh, I take quick folder. It's, it's in this folder that I save uh, my field. And we see my custom field too. OK. I click on the little uh, arrow. And you see, it come here. Okay. <coughs> Seven close. I go on article manager. I select article. And uh, where is my field? Here. Okay. So. I will create a content. Categorize and categorize. Okay. Like you see, this button, select user, is a GFORM uh, field. We are compatible with all editors. And uh, it's nice because uh, GCE with the beta 6 uh, from uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, work uh, good, and it was not the case with uh, beta 5. Okay, saving close. But I add this custom field only on admin form. 
And if I want to see this field on the front end, I must add this field too in the content view. I go on my content types and now on content client. Like you see, by default, for article Joomla, what you do, do, do you display? Only the intro text and full text. Okay. Now I select my custom field. And point. Okay. I go on front. This is our article, okay. If I click, mm -hmm. I don't save, maybe. No, it's okay. I don't see my field, so maybe I haven't any value for this field. Yes, no option. Okay. If the field is not filled, uh, it is not display, of course. Okay, my field. <coughs> so, it's uh, the big mean. But then, of course, you can do a lot of other things. Just um, show you uh, one thing, I will speak later uh, about this, but uh, we have included in Cblot uh, 2 a framework template. Like you've seen, in the content types interface, you have a position system. So you can assign a field to a position, like in Joomla, a module to a position. It's the same. And behind the template, framework is the same as a VARP, a country, or a other. There is some difference, of course, because uh, the CCK is made to manage uh, uh, content and not uh, all the website, um, but is very, very advanced. You have here so uh, some parameters of your big template, your main template, Okay, you can do a lot of things. And you have a new concept. For any position, you can do a thing uh, other template. Just for the field in this position. It's very um, useful uh, because often you put your field in many positions, and you must only customize a little box. And by default, all is okay, but only that. You, you want to do uh, um, a custom design. Okay. So here, when you select a, vari a variation, you have, of course, a lot of other parameters. For example, in this position, you can display your field in vertical or horizontal. Okay, and a lot of things. Just to show you our custom field here, I select with my mouse, okay. And now I want to put it on a bottom position, for example. I select this bottom, okay. Then I click and it's go in this position. You can do a lot of things in this interface like select many fields in right time. Yes. And if I want to put in bottom body, okay, it's possible too. I will... Uh, I get it. I reverse. Okay. If I want to be at the top of the position, I click on this button. 
at the bottom of the position, I click here. Okay. Of course, all is drag and drop here. Okay. And of course here. And you can it's called automatically. Okay. All this is not gadget. Uh, clearly, uh, our purpose is to manage a lot of fields. Uh, we have some content types with more than 200 fields. And when the list is very big, it's, uh, uh, it's very long to, to get a field uh, at the top and to get it at the bottom. So all is sync to do this very quickly. Okay, so like you see, we put our custom film on bottom C. I save it. Okay, but uh, I will put this field on the right. It will be better to see uh, because this field is uh, already uh, at the bottom. Okay. Uh, so I do this in the admin form. So it's for admin and not for content. If I want to do this, of course, in the content side, I do again. Okay, and save. On the front. And the white, okay, and you can manage all widths of all position with this button here. You can uh, say, okay, uh, white R is uh, uh, 50 uh, percent, 50 pixel, and so on. Okay, very quickly, and we will continue with the presentation. You have, I think, uh, it's a more powerful um, form builder you never see. We have tried to, to bring all. There is only two things, there is not, and um, of course we are working on it. It's a pagination system directly in your form, okay, and a condition system. When you want to show a field, uh, only if the user has select a, uh, um, a value in a other field. Okay, we will, uh, we work on it too. Okay, you can change for in your content type the label is an override. So you can use, uh, for example, article title field everywhere and just change the label for your content type. So um, maybe uh, one time is title or name or other things. Okay. Of course, here in your form, you can hidden your field. You can display your form normally, display the value and so. This is the first steps classically in your, when you uh, built a form. Here, you can say this field is required or not. You can customize the error, uh, the validation error message, which is displayed. Here, like you see, you can apply some validation rule. This is plugin. It's the same, we have a Dread uh, plugin uh, for validation rule. And it's dynamic. Okay. You can do what you want in this rule. And just one thing about validation rule, um, I will speak uh, after about this, just to show you. Okay, here is there is a concept of live value. For example, it's understandable with, uh, with, with this. If you want uh, to preset um, a value of a field, with a dynamic value. For example, you, are, uh, you built a contact form and you want the name field, the first name, and so. 
will be automatically uh, filled by the information in the user profile. Okay, you do this, select in live value profile, and here, for example, username. It's the, the, the name of the field in the profile user. Okay, you can do this. This is to some plugin. Of course, you can manage uh, permission uh, in each field and on your content type too. You can say for your content type uh, who can create this content type, who can edit this content type, and so. And it's good, we are, we are very happy to have this, thanks to Joomla.6, uh, and uh, we have a lot of work um, to do, to have uh, all this, and we try uh, about any um, Cblood element, you can manage uh, permission and access behind. Okay, we'll go on the presentation again. Like I show you, <clears throat> you don't need any code. You can do and uh, what you want. Um, we try to simplify uh, a lot of things. I hope um, we have done. Not uh, all, uh, all is not uh, finished, but I think it's a good way. Okay, of course, fully integrated uh, with Joomla. Uh, like you know, uh, with new effects, like you, you see. Um, and there is uh, a lot of things uh, which uh, come uh, because uh, all our plugins and so are not today public because we want to arrive in, in, with one time a lot, many, many, many surprises about many plugin, application, and so. Like in the last version, you will be able to export and import uh, application. Uh, for example, you, you built uh, a block system. You must know that now you can build a command system directly with Stableod. It's, uh, uh, I think, the first uh, command system uh, with multi-feed feature. You can do what you want. And all this will come um, with, uh, with application um, concept, like uh, iPhone or other. Okay. So we see plugins, applications. It's a lot of content types, template, search types, all together. The template framework. Of course, there is a development framework. We have a lot of work uh, about this, and you will see is comment um, on dit magnifique. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, field plugins, like I showed you uh, before. Validation wall. Just about validation wall, you are able to manage the JavaScript validation. Of course, it's useful for the end user. The validation on the server, so in PHP, is uh, normal for security purpose, of course, and Ajax validation too. I think with these three features, it's a powerful system of uh, validation world. We have a new big concept. It's a storage plugin. It was a little uh, hard on the last version to understand how we save uh, data uh, of your uh, custom field. Because it use, uh, we, we, we use it um, a special syntax um, like JSON. But now you are able, of course, to save in standard database table. When you create a content type, it's automatic. If you, if you do nothing, uh, all your custom files are saved in a table, often leaking to the com content. Okay, 
no act, nothing. And if you want, you can uh, put your data everywhere. If you want to build a form to manage some uh, event in G events, you can do this. If you want to manage product from eCatchup with a C platform, you can do this. Okay. Of course, we need JSON too, because there is a lot of fields in Joomla.6 which are saved in JSON format. So, natively, uh, we manage it. And we, there is also the, the custom syntax because uh, when we will uh, uh, import uh, from um, Joomla uh, 1.5, we will be able to understand on dot six. Okay, and of course, it's the beginning. Then you will be able to save your data like you want, just done a plugin. XML, CSV, web services, we are we working on it for our clients and maybe in some times we'll publish it. Okay. And in few times you will be able to say uh, to your custom file uh, field, uh, you want to save in database, okay, but you want to save this value too by web service in a other website or in a other database. You will be able to do that. Actually, you can uh, choose only one uh, storage, but uh, in a, uh, in a, a, um, a short month, we you, you will be able to have many different storage. Okay. Live plugin, like you see uh, uh, before, uh, with uh, the profile, you can do a lot of things. Uh, for example, is for a command system. Uh, if you want, you insert a form at the bottom of an article. It's the form to, uh, to, uh, to fill a comment. You need to keep the ID of the article to know after, okay, this comment is linked to this article. So you can use the live with URL variable, and you will be able to keep the ID in the, in the, in the URL directly. Okay. Typography plugin. If, if I, I have a, some time, I will show you in the interface. Uh, it's allow you to present like you want any field. You can apply any syntax uh, on your field. And of course, this is a plugin system. I will show you shortly because there is a, li a little pressure uh, behind this. You understand why. Okay, so of course, it's today typography is only on content side. Here, for example, for un true text, if you want to put hash, okay, and Gavwick, Joomla art style, rocket them style, and all. We, di we did all plugin uh, for the big uh, template editor, so you will be able to use all this, typo this typography uh, of, uh, of this uh, 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 editor template. It's very quickly, so to, uh, to have a, a, good, uh, a good design. Okay, and of course, some application, you have some content type, search type, and many, and many other things. About export and import, just one thing. Um, we will publish uh, in few days um, an uh, add-on for uh, Joomla.5, the web services add-on, which allow you to export any content on Joomla article. 
So you will be able to uh, export your content from uh, .5. And of course, we will publish two. Um, maybe this, this week, so it's very, it's uh, always ready. Uh, we'll publish uh, an export add-on for Cblot 2 on .6. So you will be able to migrate your website from one to one, to other. Okay. About template, like you see uh, before, uh, you have uh, with Cblot um, a very powerful template framework system, which uh, there is, uh, I think, uh, uh, 42 um, uh, positions uh, in the template, and uh, you can do a lot of things uh, with it. Just learn a little um, how to use it, uh, and think uh, about widths and height that you can uh, customize is uh, very, very often uh, you need it. Okay. The layout system, and you will discover that there is a lot of things. We have, I think, uh, about override, for example, we are thinking to all. You can override your CSS, your JS. You can, in the Joomla template, uh, in the main Joomla template, in the HTML directory, you know, you can override any template applied to any content types. So if you want just customize this content type, you can do it. Okay. This is too big to have a, a good vision uh, so quickly. Okay. And a very good point too, uh, with this new version, uh, we open the use of Cblood for any developer, uh, for any extension. Just an example. For this field, it's a plugin you see here. You see this field with a repeat feature. It's only, only the field X, Cblood field. We use to build a component, to build a plugin, we use already the field managed by Cblood. If I want, I can search this field and change the label option with another thing. So every developer can develop this extension by using all the power of the field from Cblood. And this is what we do uh, always. Uh, it's, very, um, it's very nice because imagine you build your, your form and, uh, okay, oh no, uh, it's not a, a, a text field I want. Now it's a radio field. What you do, everybody? You go on your code and you change it at the end. No. You just call a dynamic field managed with Cblood, just call it. Is the uh, one line, and then you go on your administration, you change your text field by a radio field, and tomorrow, if you want to change with other, you can it, you can do it without any code. Okay. Is the example I show you uh, directly in the interface. So, um, I will give the, the, the speech to uh, Sebastian. He'll show you uh, a very big um, case study. Um, we have just one thing. You will see there is a lot of things uh, and powerful e-commerce future and so. Uh, we are not sure today to publish it, uh, this feature to the public uh, because we must do a lot of work to prepare uh, this uh, to the public. And we prefer to work hard uh, on the dot six uh, with Cblood 2 and, um, and so.
Thank you. Okay, hello. Hello, so I'm gonna talk to you about this interesting project made uh, last year by Seblood, with Seblood. Uh, where the goal was to, to provide a, an extra net solution for a, a big customer, uh, to provide an e-commerce solution. And uh, the main difficulties was that uh, all uh, uh, is the system was already implemented in SAP. So the main goal was to interface Joomla with SAP. The, the particular uh, condition of this client was not <laughs> so easy to manage because uh, there is, uh, this client used a, a lot of distribution channel with different rules. Uh, different customer could have a different catalog with different product, with different attributes on this product and with different price. So uh, we, we didn't know uh, uh, e-commerce solution providing all this future. So we decided to, to do it with Seblood, completely with Seblood. So the goal was not to develop all the, the functional rule, like the, uh, the to, 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 to push an order in, in Joomla, because it was already done in SAP. So the goal was only to to create uh, uh, an interface with SAP, where already was already done. So, the first thing was to 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 modelize the system in Seblood. Just to be clear, this this customer uh, sell uh, closes and the product are closes. So how we modelize that in Seblood? We have created different content type. They are here. We first create uh, a model content type where we can define the, the product, its name, its, its global uh, attributes. Then we add uh, a new feature for this project a new, a new concept, the, the group X future, that, that, lets, that, that let us include a content type into another content type and repeat it as many times as we want. So for, for here, for example, a, a model could have uh, a, a many colors. So we can create an extension defining this type, so the color, why an extension? Because we, we can't create directly a content directly from this content type. It has no sense. A color with a packaging, with a, a price has no sense. But we can include it in another content type, and in, the, in this case the product, where the color and price are linked to a model. And in this content type, the model is simply an external article, it's in fact a reference to a, an existing article already created in Joomla with this content type, the model. So we can directly link model with as many colors as we want. So the result in Joomla, here is the form for the model. So we can see the, the name of the model, no, uh, is reference, different attributes, uh, a little bracket, the different tab are already uh, are, are managed with Seblot 2. To build this, this form, we didn't use any code at all. It's just a customizing part of in Seblot. We create a content type for the color. So color is identified by a code, a name, and different attributes, like the family of the color, for example. This, this client was, it, it was very special because uh, we had to manage four Android color to this client, so it's not, it's not common. 
And here is the result of the form for the product. So we can see here the, uh, a reference, an external reference to a model existing already in Joomla. So it's just a, a drop down list. And then we have the, the famous group X, like I told you just before. It is this box, oh, sorry. It is this box here, where we can see the reference to the color, a reference to an, another article, an existing article, and different attributes that give information for a model for this color. So particularly the, the price. And we can add with this button as many colors as we want to this product. OK. Uh, just to show you the result, the content result of a such content type is this kind of content. There is many information, it was just for the, the screenshot, but here is the result. Okay. Okay, with this, we have the, the, the first part. We have the, the, the model of SAP into Joomla. After that, we, we need two other big future. The first is how to search this content. So we want to be able, for example, to search a product according a family of color. But in the model, the family of color is in the color. And if you remember, the color is an external reference into an extension into the content type, which is the product. So, so we extend the, the, the search type feature of Sableud for that. That lets us provide this kind of search engine, which is able, basically, without any code, to uh, search this different level. And this, this, uh, in this uh, example, in three levels. So directly selecting the family of the color, we are able to provide a list of products. There is another uh, difficulty on this part that is uh, all customer for this client uh, didn't have already the same catalog. So in the search, uh, we, we used the, the live value future that uh, Seb uh, Sebastian told to you before to let us uh, uh, specify the, the catalog of the product according a value of the customer. So directly the, the customer created uh, as a user in Joomla in his profile as his catalog. So in his search, he directly search in his catalog. So we are able to create as many catalog as we want. It could be one catalog for user if you want. So every customer could have a different product with different color and with different price, without any code. OK, that's, so we have the, the content. We can provide a list of this content. So after that, there was a main problem. It was to how to get the information from SAP into Joomla. So for that, we develop an add-on to Joomla to be able to, to create a service consumer directly without any code that can ask, that can, that can send requests to SAP to get information or to, to populate the content or, for example, for the, to, to be able to push orders directly we create the, 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 the order into SAP and we send the order in, uh, into Joomla, sorry, and we send the order into SAP. Okay. Just a little bracket very quickly because I have no time. Uh, for that, we have created new type of, e uh, of field into Joomla, especially for the e-commerce. 
this form here that you have seen on the contents are field, are uh, sublot field. It's special field. It's e-commerce field. So, for example, in the comments, in the in the content view, there appears our form elements, and they are able to to get all values of our content. So, for example, the color. It can list of the color defined in our product. And we are able to, to take this field and move them uh, to, through the different uh, step, the different workflow uh, for, the, for the order. And so finally, we are able to push this information into SAP using a web service. OK. So I'm going to show you a little example, a little uh, example of using this add-on. Oh, wow. Windows. <laughs> Excuse me, just the time to reboot. Tu veux faire un petit speech en attendant? Okay, so sorry for this. I will show you some example with Subblood 2. Okay. First example. On the new website in Sebload uh, 2, <coughs> we have built a blog uh, content type. And like you can see with Twitter, uh, Facebook, and, um, and other things. And of course, uh, with a comment system. And like you know, on .6, there is no many command system available. So we decide to build with uh, Cblood. Just see the form at the bottom. OK. This form is totally managed with Cblood. Like you see, CAPTCHA and so, all these plugins, this is not a, a problem with uh, the new system today. Validation world, so you can customize like uh, I, I say you before. And the list of the comment is only a use of the search tip feature. So a search, uh, a search tip feature allows you to, uh, to build um, a list uh, with some filter uh, or uh, a search engine. It's both, because this is the same. When you have a search engine, what you do? You list some content with criteria. What you do when you want to list some content? You not show this, this criteria, but there is criteria too, just hidden. Okay. And when you use so this uh, this feature for say blood, then you can uh, call it with a module. So here is only a module which display the list of the comment of the current article. Another example, uh, so, so is a French example. It's a directory uh, of lawyer, a new concept. Um, the lawyer are able to publish uh, some ad Example of a search. Here you are in a Ajax uh, uh, multi-level select, uh, dynamic select. Okay. You have one content type here for add. See some add. Okay. And this is that you have see with uh, Alexander.
This is the directory of the lawyer. And all this user are Joomla user. Okay? It's the profile of the user. Okay. Another example. It's a website uh, for um, a, 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 a big services enterprise uh, in France, RZIP. <coughs> and Ah, <laughs> uh, it changed. I have not my my money link. Okay, thank you, my client. So I will not show you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, same is okay for you. Okay, just quickly to show you how we... Okay. So we have the, the chance to have... A a SAP system, so I'm going to directly show you a, an example. So here is a SAP system. And for the event, I just create a very simple function module. This one. Very easy, a, a kind of hello world. We have an importing parameter, the name, and I return a hello to this name and then there is four other parameters that provide since system information okay very very simple so <coughs> sap is able to generate automatically a service consumer from a function module That's what we can see here. Okay, he has, we have an enterprise service. We can see sublot jab 11. Okay, the external view. We can see our input parameter, the name, and our four fields for the output, including one which is a structure with different field. Okay, SAP is able to provide a, a WSDL file to that will, we will use to, to consume the service without any code. So is able, we are able to, to have the complete description of this service directly using this WSDL file. Okay. Here we are in SAP. So I go back to Joomla and we develop so a new add-on for Sublod here. I created, I define the service from the, this WSDL file. So it's this one. What is a, a service definition? It's only a title, a WSDL file, so we can use a remote URL. What? You come to the end, yeah. the end. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, a remote URL or a local file. And then we're providing, if needed, uh, security rule like user and password. Okay. After that, we can create a task to consume this service. That's what I'm going to do. I create a new task. Okay. Demo jab. I select my web service, demo jab. 
he automatically gets the operation defined is, the, is this with, uh, with the file. Here we only, one, we only get one. And he automatically gets the import parameters defined is this, in this operation. Okay, I apply. And now we can consume this service. We can do a quick test. Okay, and for the process, we, we just want to test and display the results. Okay, I process. So SAP is called. Here is the response. We get the first parameters, hello, the name we pass, and the four other parameters, including the structure that give all information about the system. So okay, that's the basic. After that, we implement, we implement the import tools directly here, where directly here we are able to specify a content type, different category, and di directly import data from SAP into Joomla. Here it is. Okay, <coughs> so this uh, add-on, just this add-on uh, will be published uh, so uh, and free. Uh, you you will be able to uh, to try it. Okay, just uh, one word, a special word uh, to um, my friend and my developer Saba. Uh, he is not here, and he do uh, a lot of very good work. You can look the code in Sevlod. This is very nice code. And uh, yes, we try to do it, uh, and you can use it uh, as simply. Okay, and thanks to uh, Mehdi and uh, Pascal, uh, other uh, developers which do uh, a lot of plugins and all the plugins which, uh, which come. Okay, uh, and sorry for my English. Uh, okay, so thank you. If you have any questions, we are here and you can come. Thanks. <laughs>